And here's Maggie, she survived another PET scan. <laughs> Number 11. Poor Maggie's changed her mask now and we've Oh, she's nodding her head at me. Mommy. Well, she's telling me I have to vlog. <laughs> but we've been... Ha ha. But I was just going to say, we've been sitting here for nearly an hour waiting for transport. And they're supposed to be on their way. It's 5.35. We had the doctors come in and have a quick look at her but we're still waiting at the Royal to be transported back to the children's. I have him to do with the little sister. Um, I like to take her out to eat and like do things. It's 6.44 p.m. We are still waiting for the ambulance to take us back to the children's. Megan's resorted to doing a TikTok and I've resorted to doing work. It's now 7.38. We've been told probably 10 minutes ago that they were five minutes away. So we're hoping they're gonna show up any minute. Megan's very over it. So are we both. So are me and the um, nurse. Okay, apparently they are in the lift. Megan's just finished her second bottle of oxygen that she, today. But yeah, she's plugged back into the wall, so hopefully we'll get her replugged in when we transport her downstairs. Look for the wheat flowers. Okay, I'll look for your flowers. Your flowers? Yeah, she it. wants. Oh, where are they? I can't see them, those ones. Megan's um, waiting for surgery this morning. They're going to do a procedure called a, let me read it again, a bronchioalveolar lavage, which means they're going to put a small camera down her windpipe into her lung. They're gonna put a little bit of saline into her lung and then they're gonna pull that back out and test the saline. She's also gonna have a bone marrow aspirate, which is a needle into her hip bone to um, get some of her bone marrow, which will be tested. Um, to do the surgery, Megan needs to have platelets above 50. She's already had platelets this morning because her platelets, they were either 11 or 18, but I've already forgotten. But they've given her platelets, but her platelets are only 46. So they're either going to have to give her some shortly or give her platelets as she's having her um, operation. We're also waiting for an echocardiogram. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else and possibly a CAT scan, but we haven't had that confirmed if that's happening. So more waiting. Oh, and I forgot, she got given a antifungal intravenous drug last night, which I keep on forgetting the name, but she had a bit of a reaction at the time um, where she felt she couldn't breathe and then she was vomiting. So they gave her some cetirizine, cetirizine 
and then they were able to continue that. But it was pretty full on. Oh, because they also gave the Lasix because she still got fluid on her lungs, so they're trying to reduce that. Um, Megan's just gone down to theatre. Um, we've been waiting all day again. Um, she, yeah, it's been fasting since 2 a.m. So it's like 2.45 at the moment. So they're just gonna do those procedures and I expect her to be an hour, hour and a half. Um, she was getting pretty down and upset, just tired and hungry and wanted to get out. Um, anyway, so we'll see how it goes. There's a chance she might have to go to ICU after the um, lung test because there's fluid on her lungs, but let's hope we get to come back here straight away and it all goes good and easy. Megan's in recovery, so on my way to get up.